So today's topic is, is Adobe Premiere Pro useful for beginners? I lost at that. But for first, let's go back to the studio. How's it going, people? Welcome back to another video and thank you for tuning in again. So now, YouTube is one of parts in our life. Just watching YouTube is fun, but creating video is much more fun. So a lot of people start creating videos and those numbers are increasing every single day. So there are so many beginners, which is including me, more than professionals. So you're gonna start creating videos on YouTube. You got your camera, you got your computer, but what video editing software are you gonna use? So if you're using Mac, there is already iMovie, which is free software. If you're using Windows, there is uh, something like Windows Media Maker, something like that. But a lot of filmmakers or YouTubers are using Adobe Premiere Pro. So now you're gonna think like this, okay, there is iMovie, but there is like free software. But should I use Adobe Premiere Pro? Is iMovie not enough for me? Okay, what should I do? What should I use? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about is Adobe Premiere Pro usable for beginners? Beginners, 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 beginners. Beginners, wait a sec, I'm gonna check beginners, the pronunciation. Sorry for my English. Sometimes I forgot the you know proper pronunciation. Okay, come on. Google translation. Beginners. Beginners. So if you just started to creating videos or you're about to do that, this video may give you a good information, I believe. But I'm not gonna talk a whole bunch of like a kickstart for being YouTuber. Today I'm just gonna focus on comparison between iMovie and Adobe Premiere Pro based on three elements. First, the basic functions like cut, adding music, adding text. Second, effects like transitions, blur, motion graphics, animations, something like that. And third, this is biggest topic today, color correct and grading. Well, I'm going to tell you the conclusion at the end of this video. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> What's wrong with me? And it's empty. So let's compare iMovie and Premiere Pro. And I will explain that you should use Premiere Pro or you should stick on iMovie. So let's look at the workspace of iMovie first. Okay, this is iMovie's workspace. So you can drag your footage right here, timeline, and you can cut wherever you don't need and you know, got two clips together. Of course, you can add some music or sound effects, just simple stuff, and you can add some text, but in iMovie, you cannot move this text wherever you want. It's just like template. So jump to the Premiere Pro. So this is workspace of Premiere Pro. Also, you can drag the footage right here, timeline, and you can do simple stuff, same as iMovie. You can cut wherever you don't need, add some music, sound effect, and you can put text wherever you want, and you can change very details of it. iMovie, you cannot do that. In Premiere Pro, you can do everything you want. You can change font or you can download any font from internet and you can apply that to Premiere Pro. So there is slight difference between iMovie and Premiere Pro in basic functions. But to me, I mean, for beginners, they're not different that much. Of course, if you're talking about the very specific and sophisticated stuff in Premiere Pro, you can manipulate very specific things, very small detail but as a basic function they're not different that much so move to next next is effect okay there is huge difference between those two in iMovie there are some basic effects like slow motion fast forward transitions i guess that's it but i think it's enough to make like a simple vlog or casual travel movie the functions are limited but it's easy to learn basic skill in iMovie move to Premiere Pro okay there is tons of things that you can do anything in your mind is able to be happen in Premiere Pro there are tons of transition effects motion graphics animations you can create whatever you want I'm not going to talk about what you can do in the Premiere Pro today because it takes me a day or two days or three days 
I mean forever. But some of them are gonna do Premiere Pro tutorials for beginners. That's a good idea. So number three, I mean last, it's color correct and grading. At this point, no way to win for iMovie. Never. Okay, let's look at iMovie first. There is a little color correct here. So you can boost, reduce, high, middle, and low, or you can make it saturated. That's it. And there are some video effect templates, but they're not useful. Some of it are useful sometimes, but it depends on what you want to do, but not enough for filmmaking or b-roll. But I think it's enough for just making a casual and simple vlog. All right, look at this. It's called Lumetri Color. You can manipulate every single stuff you know you can change a specific area of color or light there are tons of things you can do so it's kind of overwhelming for beginners for the first time when i started to use premiere pro and when i you know look at this look at this workspace i was like all right i'm not gonna do this but i watched tons of tutorials and i learned now i can do a little bit i'm still learning so far as you learn premiere pro iMovie big difference so the problem is, is Adobe Premiere Pro usable for beginners? beginners? Beginners. It depends on your experience or skills or what you want to do. For example, if you don't have any experience or skills and you want to make some like simple and casual vlog, in my opinion, you should stick on iMovie for the first five or six videos. Just try to edit whole videos like five or six times and learn the basic stuffs when you're ready and when you feel you learned basic stuffs you can jump up to premiere pro you know in imovie a lot of functions are limited but because of it you can learn the very basic stuff where to cut how to add some music text how to make transitions if you use premiere pro when you don't know anything about editing it's kind of overwhelming of course you can try to edit on premiere pro watching tons of tutorials on YouTube. You can learn basics and advanced skills, but it's not free, but you got iMovie already. Why don't you try iMovie and practice editing and jump up to Premiere Pro? I used iMovie for very long time, over years, and I learned basic. Eventually, I realized that, okay, I wanna do more iMovie is not enough, I decided to use Adobe Premiere Pro. So in conclusion is, if you don't know anything about editing, you should stick on iMovie or free editing software first. And when you are ready, when you learn the basic stuff, you can jump up to Premiere Pro and do more advanced stuff. So today's topic is pretty much it. And thank you for watching this video. And, and I'll see you at next video. Okay, how do I end this? Oh, another is coming. Another is coming. <sighs> no, it's not. It's not.